There are many ways and places to buy artwork to display in our homes. We can go to galleries, auctions, private dealers, even online. And the type of art that you choose to display can range from highly valuable fine art collections to more affordable prints, lithographs, or posters. Now, depending on your budget, there are a number of things to consider as you purchase art. Joining us today is Todd Wyman of the Swan Galleries. Hello. Now, Todd is the vice president of prints and drawings for the galleries, and we're very thankful for the invitation to come see you today. Glad you're here. So what kind of things should our viewers consider as they go to purchase art? Well, the bottom line is whatever you're going to live with, you want to like. So buy things that you like, you're going to enjoy having on your wall. Mm -hmm. Secondly, educate yourself. Go to museum exhibitions, mm -hmm. come to auction houses, mm -hmm. go to galleries, mm -hmm. talk to people, talk to the professionals in the business. So it's really a matter of developing relationships. Yeah, it's all about educating yourself and having good relationships with people okay. in the business. And what kind of things should they be looking for on a specific piece of art in terms of rarity or condition? Are there... Well, quality is one main thing. You want mm -hmm. Whatever your wallet can afford, you want to buy the best quality. Right. And secondarily, you want the best condition that you can get. Do you have any examples that you can show us? Yes, absolutely. I've got a few right over here we okay. can look at. Let's do it. All right, guys, I'm not going to lie to you. All three of these Lichten scenes look exactly the same to me, but Todd's going to tell us why their value is extremely disparate. They do look similar, don't they? But they are in some way all different. The top one here is a proof before publication. You see that in this white line here, which gets filled in once the print's published. The center one is signed in pencil by Roy Lichtenstein, and the bottom one is a regular published edition. Okay, so that signature makes it more rare. It does. They're all iconic, classic Lichtenstein image, the sunrise from 1964, mm -hmm. but that signature makes this one worth two times as much as the other two. This one's about half the value of the signed one and this one is worth the least okay. and basically is that because that one's not finished and so that makes it that makes it more rare? exactly it's more rare mm -hmm. but you would say the condition of this one albeit uh, even though it has a signature well the you can see are not you can bright. see on the two unsigned ones they have brighter colors mm -hmm. this one's faded somewhat but still because of the signature that's where the value is so darby i brought you over here to show you some prints by one of my favorite artists andy warhol and these represent various stages throughout his career. So with an artist as prolific and popular as Andy Warhol, how do you know that what you're buying is authentic? Well, you want to be very careful. Back to what we were saying earlier, you have to do your homework, check the references, speak to people in the business, go to shows. So that must make it really difficult to buy online. It's extremely difficult to do online. It's hard to buy something by Warhol online because there's so many pitfalls with an artist as popular as him. There's so many people looking to forge his work. So you don't want to buy anything online, really, unless you can return it. You want to buy it from a reputable source okay. that if the condition is not as it was stated, or if it turns out not to be authentic, you can get your money back. So that's back. called buying on approval, right? Buying on buying approval, Buying on approval. All yes. Right, great. That's Todd, what you want to do. thank you very much for sharing your wisdom with Thanks us. We appreciate by. it. When it comes to buying artwork, most experts do agree on one thing. Don't buy based on financial gain or investment. If you buy based simply on price, you're liable to end up with a mediocre collection that won't hold its value. Buy with passion, but buy with intelligence. And if you buy what you love, you'll be able to enjoy its value every day.